amount of questions circulating around about uh, the events at uh, Summerfest on Saturday night. Um, we decided to stand here with an urban backdrop and tall buildings to kind of underscore the fact that uh, despite what some people may want to think, this is a big city. And in big cities, sometimes there's really big events with thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people in attendance. I think it's fair to say last Saturday night, if the attendance figures are right, we basically had the city of Green Bay on the Summerfest grounds in one night. All right, it was a big event. It was safely managed without injury, without major arrest, and without major incident. And I think it's overall something the city should be proud of. We host the biggest international music festival in the world safely and effectively, even when larger than anticipated crowds show up. So as we begin to uh, dissect this incident, I'd like all of you to just keep in mind, this is not a fear and loathing story about Milwaukee, okay? It was a big event handled by a professional staff of police officers who ended up in a safe place with an event that was attended by thousands without injury or without major incident. So, you got some more questions about that? Please feel free to answer, ask. It was a little scary for people who were there, who were getting squeezed by the crowd. Could there have been something done to maybe alleviate some of that uh, pressure, literally, physically? Uh, I've been in some pretty big crowds in my time, and they can be inherently scary. All right, I mean, I suspect some of you, maybe uh, at a time in your life before you became newspaper reporters, have been in mosh pits or ball games or concerts in which people are packed shoulder to shoulder, and it's a little scary. I've been in those crowds myself as a police officer. You can feel the heat coming off in waves. Challenge is, how do you manage these big events? Whether it's the Boston Pops on the Esplanade or Summerfest here in Milwaukee, the challenge is, do you adapt the plan to the changing conditions? And that's what happened Saturday. Saturday night, there was a very big crowd. Many of them had not bought tickets or had not printed their tickets, and it created a lot of pressure on the gates. And so a decision was made in real time, let's let people in. Let us move the traffic of people as well as we can onto the grounds. And we did, and there were a lot of people. I think the estimate was 117,000 people. I think that's as many people as live in Green Bay. The challenge was getting them to where they wanted to go and creating a climate of safety accepting the fact that yes there's a lot of people jammed voluntarily into a small space some of them i'm sure found the experience unpleasant but i think the important thing to keep in mind is this was done without injury without incident without losing control of the crowd and managing it in a safe and effective way and i just want people to know that if they're thinking of coming here for the fireworks or other events at summer Fest.